Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. It's been a week. Well, actually, I think did I? I think I did some content on the weekend. Actually, I, I did, but it's been a weekend, so there you go. <laughs> it's time for my Monday installment. Um, now, as you see, I have some some big guns here on the bench. Um, one of the one of my subscribers uh, actually asked about Ray o Lanterns. So I thought, that's a good idea. I should make a video about Ray o Lanterns. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to enjoy some uh, deluxe Navy Flake. It is nice stuff. Um, for those who may not be aware, the Deluxe Navy Flake is a Virginian flake that's um, sold through smoking pipes, but it's actually a Peter Stokeby uh, tobacco blend. Uh, it's very nice. It's cut into thin uh, little sheets uh, of Virginian uh, tobacco, and then you can crumble it up and put it in your pipe, and it packs actually very nice. Um, I usually like to let it sit about 15-20 minutes to kind of dry out a little bit and it really enhances the flavor. Um, but it, it's a real nice, uh, a real nice smoke actually. That's very nice. Gets a little, it takes a little time to get it going just right, but once it's burning, man, it's awesome. So. We have Rayos, and by request, and I thought I'd do just a little Rayo content for everybody. Um, Rayo is not a lantern manufacturer, just putting it out there. Rayo is a brand name that belonged to Standard Oil. Now today, Standard Oil is known as Chevron. Mm -hmm. The Chevron logo actually came about in the 1930s. Um, and some stations were called Standard Oil with the Chevron logo. And uh, on the West Coast, it became just known as Chevron by the 1950s. Mm -hmm. But um, anyways, interesting to know, right? A little back story to that gas station that usually charges more money than they should. <laughs> well, look who found it. It was Rockefeller in around the 1870s, so draw your own conclusion. <laughs> Makes sense. So, Rayo became, was uh, a brand name adopted by Standard Oil. Now, back in those days, Standard Oil was definitely catering more kerosene, I'd say, than actual gasoline, because, well, in the 1870s, there were no automobiles, no need for gasoline. So kerosene was definitely the primary fuel that was being offered through Standard Oil. Um, and kerosene was definitely, of course, the last word in fueling these. So you're, you're, you know, you got oil, you're refining kerosene. What else are you gonna do? What would be beneficial to your industry? Well. You come out with a brand of lamps and lanterns to help you sell your kerosene. Um, granted, there are plenty of lantern manufacturers at that time um, and through the late, late 19th century into the early 20th century that you could absolutely put that fuel into and burn your own lanterns. But why not offer your own line of lamps and lanterns to sell as well as your kerosene? So... Um, it was said, I've heard this, it might be accurate, it might not be, but I've heard people say that, um, you know, a lantern or a lamp would be gifted to a certain amount of kerosene purchased, um, or, or vice versa. Um, that might be true. At maybe at some point there was a promotion. I can't say that was a standing 
promotion from the conception to the demise. But um, there's very little information online considering um, or about Rayo and its affiliation with Standard Oil and all that entails. Um, these examples here present are made by the Pritchard Strong Company. Now Pritchard Strong uh, came out about 1905. Uh, they started with their their Prisco brand lanterns. Now Prisco was of course the brand name of Pritchard Strong. Pritchard Strong made really good lanterns. I have to say, um, I have a few of them and I actually don't have any Prisco branded lanterns yet. I just have Rayo examples, but they're identical to the Prisco uh, line. So it's one of the same really. Um, this is a Rayo number 77. Um, it is the base line number two cold blast because the only brass pieces on this lantern is the fuel cap and spout. Um, whereas more fancier examples of this lantern had a brass burner cone and brass burner. This is a brass fuel cap and spout only. The burner and cone are steel. Um, so it was a very, you know, more economical lantern to buy if you just, you know, wanted a bright flame without the, uh, the fancy uh, brass details. Now, of course, brass corrodes, it doesn't rust, and that means that you're not going to get any parts to seize together, but I guess the most important was the fuel cap. Um, so that's that's cool. This is a really nice lantern. It, it is a favorite of mine, and it burns really well. As you can see, I have plenty of light on the bench. They really kick out the light uh, output. Um, 10 candle power at least. I think I can crank it up a little bit more Yeah, without getting any smoke. I need to trim the wick on this thing, but it can go pretty bright. Uh, the little 17 here, it's holding its own. You know, it's doing its job. It's pretty bright for a little hot blast. Um, but yeah, these things are really fantastic lanterns. Um, they all date to right around 1909 through 1912. Uh, the 17 over here, um, the little hot blast, that thing's you know, between 19, 1909 and 1917, give or take. Um, they're very collectible. They're hard to find, these little 17s. And when they come up, they usually go for a fair amount of money because there's definitely an interest. Um, they're, they're desirable by, to collectors because of their size. They don't take up a lot of room. And they're very handsomely designed as well. So we've got to be fair in uh, giving that its credit. Um, that is actually, this little guy is the namesake of the channel. Um, my Yahoo, well, YouTube rather, um, handle is Rayo Rob number 17. Now, the reason why I picked the number 17 and Rayo, well, Rayo flows with Rob. You know, Rayo Rob, it, it, it's kind of catchy, I think. And number 17, well, there were actually other Rayo Robs. So I was like, I have to have, <laughs> you know, that those other ones were taken. I have to have a number. So luckily, number 17 was not taken. Um, so that's cool. But uh, 17, this little guy is definitely one of my favorite Rayo lanterns. I just love it. It's It has just such a good square tube look about it. It's kind of like, you know, a Dietz Victor, but a little squattier, a little, uh, you know, simpler design. Um, and it's got a, a little side lift here or cold blast style lift. Um, but it's a very uh, efficient lantern. It burns great. It, it's just a, a real treat. It's uh, the size of globe is about a double zero. So it's about the size of a junior Dietz Junior globe or Rayo Pony globe. Um, but these two other big bruisers here, these big cold blasts, I tell you, they're amazing. Um, this is a Model 92, no, 82, Model 82 with a copper fount. You probably see the color in the video. Um, the copper founts are really nice. I think they're just handsome, handsome lanterns. This thing has no flaws at all, really. It's in pretty good shape. I bought it early on during the pandemic. Um, and it was on eBay and I snagged it for a very good price because it was during a lot of time when nobody was buying collectibles. So I, 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 uh, took advantage of the opportunity. Uh, this guy said the 77, uh, they're both from the same period. There was one model in between here, which was the model 92, 
which was mostly just a 77, but with a brass burner and burner cone, as well as the fuel cap. Um, but they also had a number 100, uh, which is a squat globe number two size. I used to have one, and I sold it to Mike Lawless. But, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm keeping really what makes me happiest. And these guys are definitely in the top percentile that I want to keep. Uh, but these are just great lanterns. Pritchard Strong um, made these lanterns for Rayo up until about 19... Uh, 1819, right around there. I believe their company uh, closed in 1919. Um, Embury kind of consumed the agreements and contracts with Rayo and Standard Oil. And so they started making lanterns for that brand name. Um, it's interesting because when Berger went out of business, um, Embury picked up um, the OVB brand, Our Very Best, with uh, the Hibbard Spencer Bartlett Comp uh, hardware company. So all the OVB stuff Embry consumed uh, when Berger went out of business in the early 19-teens. Um, so Embry became kind of the jobber lantern extraordinaire. They made lanterns for Mars Wells and Pagoma and um, a lot of different hardware retailers like Norley Diamond brand for the uh, Shapely, uh, Norvell Shapely hardware company out of St. Louis. Um, they just, they had the jobber lantern market cornered, more or less. But um, prior to 1902, 1905, right around there, uh, Dietz was making a lot of lanterns for jobber-related uh, companies and hardware stores. Also the Rayo brand name as well. Those are much harder to find because Dietz eventually says, we don't want our name associated with any other hardware store except from them selling our own lanterns. Because they, they were to a point where they were strong enough to stand on their own. And they felt, Dietz is the last word in kerosene lanterns, and we're going to be that. We're going to be the ultimate company. So they did. And, well, they, they proved that to be the case. Uh, they were, up until 2019, 20, early 2020, they were the last true kerosene lantern manufacturer in the world, even though they were in China, um, they were still making lanterns up until that point, to my understanding. Since 1840 to 2020, that's quite a span. Um, but anyhow, the Rayo brand is really cool. Uh, I, I love these lanterns, and when you can find one, they turn up on eBay ever so often. I would definitely uh, try and get one. They're really nice burners, and if you can get one in good condition, with that that requires very little cleanup, even better. Um, they they really do perform. They they perform fantastic, and luckily these examples here have the marked Rayo globes, uh, the cold blast globes, and the double zero hot blast globe. Um, I have that number uh, sixty five that I'm still kind of working on. I want to get it burning just right before I showcase that again. Uh, but anyways, there's not enough room on the bench for, for that one to participate. But that that's the kind of the Rayo story that I have. So I hope that's satisfactory. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, thanks again for everybody for tuning in and watching my channel, continuing to watch my channel. Um, I appreciate all the feedback and uh, the comments and uh, suggestions for future videos. And if you have a question about a certain brand or, or type of kerosene lantern or or whatever, go ahead, leave it in the comment section. I, I do read a lot of the comments and I try to um, accommodate. So yeah, good stuff, right on. So thanks again, everybody. Have a great week and we'll see you guys again very soon. Probably eh, maybe this weekend. You never know. Take care. Bye-bye.